out there, my name is Dragnix, and this is Harold. This is an interesting, cool concept in terms of a runner sort of control kind of game. It's got all right execution, and it's got some ups and downs. I can recommend the game, but maybe not at its current price. And so I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's $14.99 on Steam Store. It came out today. We're going to show you a little bit. Now, you may notice that I'm going to be a little bit different in my recording. This is going to be a voiceover entirely. This is not going to be during game and I'm gonna show you a little bit why here because I'm gonna show you the settings at this point yeah you can play music and play gospel and that's it there is no value man you only have three resolution choices which is sort of disappointing you have to have a controller to play this game there is no keyboard controls and that's also a huge factor they also don't show you exactly the controls although they show you as you go along so we're gonna get into the practice section here in order for you to unlock a race you have to do a practice. Yet another a stunning success. The sun the I never had. I These words of praise from Raziel's lips fall and on the ears of an increasingly conflicted gaze, as he can't help but notice that Sarah is mildly irked by what she overhears. Gabe's apology is not too well received, and he senses that going forward, the competition might grow somewhat rougher. Now, I'll get into it a little bit later. Basically, he was given a bad runner, and it seems like it was, you know, altered with in terms of you know the mechanics in terms of somebody you know rigged it but he, part of the problem to start off with is the fact that harold or gabe is not um in relatable. colder climates that may change with the later can be jumped on, on like a rope playing towards Flick it right to chip it off and hinder your opponent yes yes you were amazing that is apparently listen gross, well to um, jump rival. farther wait for harold He's to reach the stalactites far side traps here. so basically you're going to run and die no, okay, so you are going to run across the level and try to get to the end of each section here. This practice session helps in towards of performing well in the race. In this practice session, you want to get as many stars as you can and get him to the end without him dying. So, got two of them at this point. So, all right, that's all right. I, I, I'm okay with that. If you get all the stars within a section of the race, you will get an extra bonus for the top, which I will get into. Now, here's the thing. I've already screwed up. I want to restart it. Here's a major problem with me. There is no restart option in the menu other than quit. You can retry after you're done, but if you already know that you screwed up, you can't retry or retry quickly. That sucks. In a game like this where one little mistake in this portion can screw you up, that's horrible at this point. And I really have to question the designers why they decided to choose that way. That lightning bolt. That is just to encourage Harold to run faster, the runner in question. So if you use it at the right time, he'll get a speed boost. Now, if you also have a ball during the race and you have a puff available, it will spawn you again at that point. It takes a puff away. If you have no more, then you lose the race at that point. All right, simple enough. All right, you're able to move the platform and interact with the environment to help out Harold, which is a major portion of the game. Not only that, you can help Harold and then hinder other opponents. I'll tell you why that doesn't work necessarily in all aspects of the game, personally, due to the fact of the way they designed it. Um, sometimes it's actually beneficial to actually run into a trap, which I find disturbing. Now you'll notice here that, you know, I used the icicle to get over, but sometimes it's actually better to screw it yourself. I broke the icicle and actually was able to make that jump and get across faster to get all three stars. So you want to react very quickly. This part I have not been able to successfully at this point while running. Again, you obviously want to go as fast as you can while trying to get through these sections, which of course, yeah, of course you do. But sometimes it's better to go slow because like here I'm trying my best to figure out how to do this jump, and with them both moving at the same time, I don't know how. In fact, it seems to be easier for me to go slow in this section. And I'm gonna keep on trying here. And I again, I apologize for not being able to do on the fly commentary, but with the audio options, I just didn't have the option here without the sound bugging me out in terms of being able to overpower my voice. All right, got through that section. Pretty simple enough. Now each section there's an X amount 
here, I'm gonna grab this. I was able to grab the section of the bridge and fling him to the other side, getting him across. It. On the other hand, I could go to the other side of the bridge, fling it, and maybe stop it a little more progressing. Now, your line of sight always stays within Harold's vision, so you can't go up and screw with like the first and second place people. You always are in your line of sight, which sort of hinders that mechanic. It's a cool idea and concept, but again, it may help you a certain point, but you really want to focus on Harold more than anything else. Alright, this is like Jump, make him jump. Smash these right away. We're good. So this is the gameplay. This is the now, you noticed in the earlier portions there were different paths. Some paths are shorter, some paths are easier to go around. Usually you want to go to the fast path if you want first. In order to get through a race, you have to place in the top three, which seems simple enough, but you'll notice it. I'm, I'm having problems doing this even though I've done these before, and you have to do them all in one run. Well, you're going to see in a little bit that that doesn't really work out in the next level. Now, I will say controls are tight. The controls are Congratulations! Are you have reached well, the end of the practice no session. There, the so next race it is up has to been you. unlocked. And for people who like the like the repetitive, um, like perfection kind of games, this may be for you at this point. All right, let's get into now. Let's get into some other stuff. Music and sound design, excellent in this game. The way that he reacts, the way he um, when you you power him up and he sort of reacts to you, that part of the game is great. The sound design and the gospel music that plays in a race, actually pretty damn cool. I really do uh, like that uh, version of it. When you see a cutscene, there's always some arbitrary reason that he starts and laughs. In this case, he's not yeah. going to it and freezes him, and thus, he falls and he falls. Now, like I said with the stars, if I were to get all stars in that practice session, you see those puffs that you start off with there? You have four instead of three, which can be really helpful. Now, you pick up halos during it, two halos equals another puff. Really, really, really need it. I died in a lot of one of my puffs in question. Got a puff there. I'm gonna run back and die in the I didn't react to there. I didn't have a puff left. Game over. So, now the puff portion is really cool, and I, I screwed with my opponent. I interfered with my opponent there by breaking that icicle. He's actually still way far ahead of me. In fact, the amount of time it took for him to get back up after I screwed up was actually less than what it took me to get back across the board. Which is actually pretty bad. Because, again, I help my opponent. Sometimes it's better to run into an obstacle rather than use the run just because it's easier to run now. I will say that there are certain groups of four portions later on. Right but, I mean, that I have a problem with. It's just like, that's the whole mechanic. I should get rewarded for screwing up my opponent, not having See, as I missed there again, no, those dang uh, portions. Now, the aesthetic, I do like the. the especially the cutscenes, I do like the art and the, and the style they're going for. But during this, like. This it seems like Harold is like, don't really pixelate. Oh, I mean, it feels like really unsharp. It feels just like a little bit unsharp. Now, I don't want to be too focused on this. I will say that's the gameplay. It is solid in this sense. There are some bad design decisions, I think, in this game, but on the other hand, it is pretty fun. It will be a game that frustrates you. As you see here, I'm, I actually end up quitting this game because I'm having so many problems with it. Now, again, part of the hard part of it is that practice mode really does help you in terms of being able to perfect your run if you're specifically having trouble with a section. I do wish that that was more functional, where it forces you to go through that. I do wish that it was sort of an option where I could run the race to see if I could run it ra rather than use the practice session. Now, I'm going to switch over to a different race here because, well, obviously I want to show you guys actually crossing the finish line. All right, let's go over here on a race to the desert. There's also one other challenge mode, which I will get to, um, but it's still the same race. <laughs> All right, see, so here 
world. Oh, man. Arbitrary reason is to do not start well. Alright, so we jump over the sand here. from this game was a multiplayer I really do like this sport, even however I do recognize that that would be problematic. Who controls what obstacle on this? And yeah, that's a problem. Your opponents don't screw with you except for the first mission, it looks like. But um, it's sort of disappointing that there's no multiplayer mode only because it seems like a cool concept, but again I do recognize that that is actually a real problematic design choice. All right, I'm going to do one more thing for you guys. I'm going to go and do the challenge mode in question. Just show you a little bit of what the challenge mode is like. I'm going to do it on the first level, the forest. And you do get some good tutorials and some good sections there. Uh, the loading screens are a little I'm so used to right, So you're basically trying to collect all the stars from them, and you're always running. It's cool. Um, it's a different challenge, although relatively the same. So this is Harold, guys, and I hope you understand where the strengths and the um, problems are with this game. I do like the game. I think there are some problems with it. And in particular, I hate the fact that there, the options, the, the, the sort of pluses are missing at that point. This is Dragnik signing out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback and comments below. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragnik signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.